All right, guys, I know how much you like shiny stuff. So this is a brand new Edelbrock Victor 340. It's on the Chinese EQ. It's got gasket issues, so we're gasketing it right now with duct tape, which works just fine, okay? The problem is, wow. Okay, I know you guys have heard me say this before, but you take a head that flows 280 or 290 and you put an Edelbrock performer on it and it only flows about 220. Okay, I'm just going to give you a glimpse. That's what we're maxing out right now with a completely stock. Edelbrock Victor 340 with a 770 carb on it on cylinder heads that flow way better than that. I'm going to tear this off the bench. If the phone doesn't uh, jump off a of pause, we'll take a quick look at the bone stock Edelbrock and maybe our seventh cut. Insane. Why did I need seven cuts to straighten out the Chinese Magnums? Well, because I wanted to try to leave that floor and I wanted to try to leave that chamber and see what I could get out of it. Was I successful? Well, we'll find out. Let's see if this thing will stay paused long enough for me to strip the bench. Mm. We love shiny, right guys? Shiny makes fast. Let's see if we can get some light on this thing. Okay, overall, I like the design. Not a tremendous amount different than the Chevy. Victor Jr. If you pay attention, okay, what usually happens is your your inside short ports probably flow a little bit extra. So what do they do? They put a sharp edge here on this divider. That's not by accident, guys. Okay? Not by accident. When I put this on the bench, well, I'm going to put it on a bench by itself. What I'll probably do is I'll probably do a rough out. Because it doesn't make any difference what it flows stock. It's a mess. It's a mess stock. I'm not even wasting time putting it on the bench completely stock. It's it's a disaster, okay? These, these are not even radius. They're relatively straight, okay? It needs a bunch of work. And uh, since it's only flowing 220, it, it needs a lot of help. Okay, now 220 is good enough to make 400 plus horsepower, but why wouldn't we do a lot better than that if we could, right? Let's flip this over. Okay, an old set of 318 gaskets. They fit pretty good, right? You remember these 318 gaskets didn't fit anywhere near on the Chinese EQs. Let's take a look at the uh, one port we have open on that. Okay. So it looks like we've got about a quarter of an inch overhang on the bottom, which we really don't want to expand the bottom too much on this. But then again, since we get so much flow through that bottom part of the pinch, it may not be that terrible. But notice it don't even it doesn't even don't even seal. Okay, so you need a 360 gasket. Let's take let's get one of the Edelbrock 360 or 340 gaskets, whatever they may be and put it on here and see what they look like. Okay, these gaskets are extremely delicate. Okay, so we got something like that on there, which isn't a problem. We got plenty of, we got plenty of material. Right? We got plenty of material to make that happen. Sure, no problem. Let's see how this fits on the Chinese EQ head. Sorry guys, one-handed. Okay, that's what it looks like. Looks like we gotta take a little at least make a little bit of a ramp to that uh, short side radius. Okay, maybe I'm off just a touch according to our bolt hole. Difficult to do with uh, only one hand, guys. But we will seal with this gasket at least. I'll be honest, I'll tell the uh, owner of these Chinese heads, I don't know if these Edelbrock gaskets will survive. <laughs> Sorry. They're very delicate, and just using them to uh, to get my sizes and so forth, they're having a rough life. Okay, the casting itself looks quite good. In fact, it's better than 
than the Chevy Victor because the Chevy Victor on the inside cylinders turn like right at the opening. They're very steep turn and they're they're tough to get equalized with the rest of the runners. This will this will work out nice. It's going to require a good amount of work though. It's not going to be 5 minutes worth of work, I can tell you right now. All right, guys. What do we got? On the left is the sixth cut. On the right is the seventh cut. Now, the real problem was on the sixth cut, we went to 267, and then the short side lost it and was com was just a mess after that, after it lost it on the short side. So most of the work that this port got worked on that short side, i.e. giving it some area or giving it a little bit more layback or and changing the texture. So how did we do? Were we successful or a complete loser? You know, I heard you say complete loser, but it's not a complete loser because it did make a difference down here. Yes, I got losses up here where I don't really want losses. Absolutely, but if we're going to run a cam that's 600 lift, we've got to make sure it's it's at least usable in this area. In fact, it really needs some more work. I mean, this is, this is, it flows 270 at 500 with the vein in the floor. I did point the vein. It made almost no difference whatsoever. And it still has the stock shape chamber. Okay. All right. Our liquid actually looks a touch narrower than it was. Hard to see, but there's a little bit on the chamber. It looks like I didn't squirt that much dicum, but we have a nice spread around the valve. A nice spread around the valve. Okay, according to our last air speeds, as far as the roof, I did a little bit of work to the roof on uh, the seventh cut. And what it wound up doing is it stomped on our swirl. Is it necessarily bad? No, it's really not because we have low, we have low swirl, and then at 500 she kicks, which is really not a bad curve, right? Okay, let's take a look at what our air speeds were. Now those were at 500 lift. These I did at 600 lift. Okay, and at 600 lift we're right around to. 249, 250. Okay, so as far as this is what we had, this is what we got, plus plus equals, okay? I believe I gave The shared wall a touch more uh, area on this one okay as far as the roof 240 215 I tried to even them out didn't really work that way 250 230 they're, they're closer they're also moving more air right so I'm gonna take that as a win and here our short side was too fast so I did some work to try to calm that down was I successful Yes. Almost even across. Not too bad. A little too fast in the center still. Okay. I mean, I still have... I have a thick casting, but I'm leery of making this casting too thin, so... I'm not 100% I'm not sure what I want to do next with it. Okay, as far as the exhaust, basically what I did is I gave that bowl a little bit of a polish because we already uh, gave it a little bit more uh, bowl ratio, okay? So, did it like it? We got a plus, we got a plus. We still got noise, but we gained a little bit. We lost a little bit. Lost, lost, lost. Plus equals minus plus plus. We top out a touch better. Let's see if our, our speeds are any better, okay? 
This is what our air speeds were. They were quite good. Okay, this is what we had. This is what we got. Okay, quite a few. Sorry about the fan, guys. It's 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 real hot in here today. Plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, equals, minus, minus. Doesn't look good. Take a look from side to side, though. 335, 326, 325. Not bad. Across the top, middle, 322, 336, 325. Quite good. 287, dead in the middle at 140, 156. Not terrible. So did it really like the polish I put on that bowl? It really didn't. Okay, it's one of those things you kind of have to, to, to test, really. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do that. Like I said, I think the exhaust is more than good enough for what we need to do. Uh, I made it a little bit bigger, and it really didn't make much of a difference. So I like the smaller exhaust port. It really probably could use a little bit more throat ratio. The throat ratio is still tight. That's probably where I should go. I mean, these that insert's plenty thick. I could open them up a little bit more. But remember, doing one is doing eight. So I think I'm already over my time limit on these. So that's my, that's my problem. Hopefully you don't tell wifey. She'll stab me. Okay, and the last thing to show you guys is seventh cut. I did that. I did spray the Dykem, which was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that, but I goofed. And then I bolted the intake on. Well, guess what? The, in, the That little bit of Dykem isn't going to cause this kind of issues. Take a look at the beating we take. Yeah, you get a little gain here, and everything else is a huge loser. Loser! 270, 220. That's 50 CFM, guys. Exactly 50 CFM. Absolutely painful, right? The intake needs a ton of work. Is now is it just the Edelbrock Victor that's like this? Every manifold I've ever tested is like this. Most guys don't don't even show you what it's like with the with the intake on. It's there. It's bad. It's real bad. I know when I did my my Victor Junior Tall. And I hooked them onto my uh, my bow ties. I couldn't believe the difference. So I did a bunch of work. I wound up getting the Victor Junior up to around 3:30, I think. And then it was it was good for the head. So I've got a ton of work ahead of me on the intake. I think we're going to leave the the cylinder head exactly where it is now, since we're 50 CFM apart. It doesn't pay to do any more work to this until I get at least <laughs> close to this. Okay, give me your opinion on that in the in the uh, comments, guys. And uh, I got to get some work done. All right, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.